my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Christine and I am the mama of two little ones, Hawk who is age three and Gray who is currently seven months. I've been intending to do this video for quite some time and what I want to talk to you guys today about is the only things that you actually need for the first three months of a baby's life. We so often end up getting caught up in the excitement of having a new baby and we buy way more things than we actually need. So here's the list. Number one, you need somewhere for the baby to sleep. So some kind of cot, a crib, a bassinet, anything like that. Some hospitals will even actually send you home with a baby box, which is literally a box and it's full of things that the baby needs for their first few weeks of life, uh, but the baby can actually sleep in that box. So there's a little bit, a, a little mattress inside and the baby can literally sleep in there. That is all you need for them. So number one was a bed. Number two is diapers and wipes. Newborn poop is super, super gross. So even if you're gonna go the cloth route of diapering, I highly suggest that you buy some disposable diapers for those first few weeks because the that meconium that's coming through the really thick tar-like poop it's gross just go disposable number three is a sleep sack now my personal favorite is the ergo line and the reason that i like the ergo line is because it actually comes with a little thermometer card and so it will tell you based on the temperature of the room how to dress your baby I don't know about you, but this caused me a tremendous amount of stress, especially in the first few weeks of my baby's life. So I thought I knew how I was going to dress great based on how I dressed Hawk, but it was completely different. And so I'm really, really happy that I had that little thermometer card that told me exactly how to dress my baby. Next up, number four is a car seat and a stroller. I suggest getting one of the car seats that are removable that you can just drop into the car, the bucket style and then you can just pull that bucket right out and plop it on the stroller. It's gonna make your life as a mom way easier to have that combination. Next up are sleepers or sleep gowns. Honestly, your baby can just live in those for the first three months, especially if you're having your baby during a pandemic. So it's super fun to buy all those cute little clothes and everything like that. But when you're exhausted and you've been up all night, you don't necessarily want to do that. So just changing baby from one sleeper to the next or one sleep gown to the next sleep gown is way easier. Make your own life easy. And in terms of number of sleepers or sleep gowns, I would say that five should be more than enough at that point. Number six is receiving blankets. You can use receiving blankets for a variety of things. So you can swaddle your baby if you enjoy swaddling. You can use them as burp cloths. You can use them, them as a nursing cover. You can use them as a car seat cover. The options are endless with a receiving blanket. And in terms of receiving blankets, I've seen some posts that say that you need like 10 to 20 receiving blankets. You don't. Again, if you go with about five receiving blankets, that should be more than enough and just do baby's laundry every few days if you even go through them that fast. Number seven is a bouncer. Now with my son, we had a mama roo, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. And we had just borrowed it from my sister-in-law. Uh, by the time we had gray, my sister-in-law had already passed it on to someone else. So we actually just ended up using a bouncer that my brother gave us. And this bouncer was just a, a simple Fisher Price bouncer. And that was really all we needed. And she was happy as could be in that. The other thing that I liked about the little bouncer was that I could take it with me from room to room. So I didn't, I wasn't stuck in the location that the mama room was plugged in. For instance, I could just take the bouncer with me, which was particularly helpful because we have a three-year-old. So he didn't necessarily want to be in one space all the time. So up we would go outside, downstairs, wherever, so much easier. Number eight is a baby bath. You're not going to use the baby bath for a long period of time. So I wouldn't even bother getting one brand new. I would pick one up secondhand and the baby bath is just gonna make it a little bit easier for you to bathe your baby. We did end up having to use just the sink on several occasions as well. And honestly, that did absolutely fine as well. We would just throw a towel down in the sink, give her a quick cleanup and we were good to go. 
Number nine is a car seat canopy. I prefer the ones that are tightly fitted or that tightly fit over the bucket. And the reason that I like those ones is because you can actually use that as a nursing cover as well. So you don't have to worry about carrying around both the car seat canopy and the nursing cover. You can just pull the car seat canopy off throw it over top of you, and then you are set to go for, for nursing. The other thing that I wanna mention about nursing or another little tip or hack is the Lululemon Vinyasa scarves. Those are also fantastic. So if you just keep one of those on regularly, then you've already got an, a nursing cover ready to go. You don't need to go out and buy a specific nursing cover. The next thing is a baby carrier or a wrap of sorts, especially if you're going to practice attachment parenting. The wraps, I tried about three different types of them. Honestly, none of them worked for me. Both of my babies ran very, very hot and they just they weren't comfortable for baby and they weren't com comfortable for me either. So I ended up going with the carrier. I used the baby Bjorn with my son and then with my daughter, I've been using the Lillibay. Lillibay? I'll link it. And both of those have been fantastic. The last thing that I wanna mention is a change pad. The ones with the cloth cover are super cute, but honestly, that's just making more laundry for yourself and we wanna make life easy. So get one of the change pads that you can wipe right down. I think the company is called Kikaru. I'll link that as well. Um, we have the peanut changer. I use that for both my son and I'm using it still for my daughter. And it's so easy because whenever anything is on it, you literally just wipe it down or put it in the bathtub, give it a quick rinse down and you're good to go. So honestly, that's it. You could probably get away with even less than that, but don't go too crazy at Babies R Us. It's just, it, it's not worth it. You'll end up having so many things that you end up just giving away. So spend the money where it counts, make your life easy, keep your baby inventory minimal. And I think that's just gonna help to streamline your life and simplify it a little bit more. If you liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And for more content, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.